Hello everyone, sometimes you may want to record a voiceover for your video or add background music to make people better understand it. But how can you do this? It may be a difficult task for most beginners, but don't worry, today in this video, we'll show you how to edit audio with Filmora 9 Video Editor. So once we launch the program, we need to import some media, which I have done here. And now we can begin to start editing audio with ease. I'm gonna bring in my clip to the timeline here just so I have some video. And the first thing we can do is add background music or sound effects. There's two different ways we can use to add background music to our video. The first is to import files from our actual computer. So I can bring in a clip, drag it into the timeline, and preview it with my video. And you can see there's some audio conflict. So I'm gonna grab my clip here, and I'm just gonna turn the audio off. And that way I just have my music. So we can preview this. And you can see the audio is working just fine with our clip. And then the other option is to use the built-in music inside of Filmora. To do this, we can just go up to the audio tab here. And under here, we have all sorts of different types of genres of music. So we have sound effects, music in different genres, and we can preview them inside the program. So there's lots of built-in things that we can download and more are always being updated inside of Filmora. Two, adjust audio. Filmora Video Editor allows you to adjust the default audio settings. So to do this, we can just double click on the audio in the timeline and make sure we are in the audio tab. This will give us options for the volume, when to fade in and out, the pitch, some volume and frequency equalizing, as well as denoise options. So the first thing we can do is adjust the volume which we can just use this over here to pan it left or right and change the volume. Let's see how we can adjust it. As you can see, we can start to bring it up in the volume here. And generally when the video starts to get really red, it's a little bit too loud. You wanna make sure it's below zero decibels. The second thing we can do is fade in and out our music and we can choose how many seconds. So let's say we fade in for five seconds. And you can see down here as well, it's created this animation going from zero up to the current decibels on the audio. And then lastly, we can also adjust the speed and pitch. To do this, we'll just adjust the pitch here. Let's make the pitch higher here and play it. And that will just allow you to fade in and out and change the pitch of your clips. Next, we have the audio denoise feature, which will allow us to remove background noise from our clips. In my case, since I have music playing, it's not really a huge problem with background noise because it's already been made without it, but you can change the strength of how much background noise you want to remove. And you can see the program is doing its best to get rid of the background noise. It would be much more noticeable if you had a clip of, say, outside with lots of wind. And then lastly, inside of here, we have the equalizer, which we have presets for different genres of music. And you can also go in and customize the EQ in here. Uh, you can boost your lows, reduce your highs, and do all the normal things you can within an EQ. Three, split audio. Another thing we can do, just like our video, is to split the audio tracks inside of Filmora. So I can grab my audio right here, select it, and hit split. This is going to only split my audio track, so I can now say maybe take this clip from the audio, which looks a bit louder, and make this my new audio. Four, mute video clip. You saw I might have already done that, but there's two ways you can mute your video. You can double click on it and go into audio, and then make sure it's dragged all the way down here. Or you can likewise right click on it and choose mute. Five, detach audio from video. Usually when you import audio and video into Filmora, they're locked together like this, but if you want to make them separately editable, simply right click and choose detach audio. This is gonna send it to its own audio track, which we can then go delete or do whatever to. Six, trim audio file. After you've detached your audio file, like I said, you can delete it, but you can also go through and trim it to make it match better. So what we can do is simply trim the beginning and ends to make sure it matches up. And if there's a part of the song we don't want, we can trim it, move it, and adjust it there. Seven, audio mixer. Over here, we have the audio mixer option. So we'll click on that to bring up our audio mixing options. So we can play our video from here 
and you can see all of our inputted tracks where we can adjust, make it stereo or surround. So I can adjust the surround options here for our various speakers, or we can go back to stereo and adjust it like this. And this will just give you full control of each of these video and audio tracks and allow you to move them around in stereo or surround space. And then of course, once you're happy, simply click on the OK button to save. Nine, record a voiceover. Filmora 9 Video Editor enables you to record a voiceover with ease. Click on the record button over here on the right side, and from here we can record a voiceover. We'll first select the input device, which in my case is my microphone, and then I can input audio. And now if we click on the record button, we can begin to record it. Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying this nature documentary about horses, and now we're gonna move on to the birds, and now to the seals. So once we're done with our recording here, we can automatically see it inside of the timeline. So now we have our voiceover and all of our audio adjusted. We can continue to add more voiceovers and make our video great. And the final thing we're gonna look at today is nine, replace the audio of the original file. So after you've imported your video and audio files into the media library inside of here, what we can do is actually replace the file in here to update it in our timeline. So what I can do is delete my audio from the timeline and make sure I have the audio I want imported. And I'll bring that now underneath my clip and adjust the bounce. And now this will allow us to go through and adjust and replace all the audio clips we need. And when you're all finished, go ahead and click on export and we can begin to export our video. Once the export window has loaded up, we have many options of what we can do. We can select a specific format to export to, as well as go in and change our name to whatever we want it to be. We can also change the location on our computer to save it to, and go into the resolution and other settings to make this look as we want to. We can adjust things like the resolution, frame rate, bit rate, and also audio options as well. You can also check out the other tabs like device, YouTube, and Vimeo to burn things to specific devices or websites. Once you're happy with all of the settings, go ahead and click on export to begin exporting your video. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how you can start to edit your videos with Filmora 9 Video Editor. If you're interested in this video editor, you can download it easily from the website. For more editing tips, please search iSkySoft on Google.